Thank you very much for all your tweets. Welcome to Extra Time. Whose performance in the round of 16 first leg was the worst and why? What are you going for, gents? I think I'd have to say Liverpool. Oh. I mean, not, not because they got beat, because, you know, anybody can lose a game, but I think the way they lost it, I mean, they just weren't at it at all. And they were actually fortunate that they're only 1-0 down. It could have been... It could have been two or three. So, I think I'll say Liverpool. Liverpool? It was between PSG and Madrid, and Real Madrid. I think I'm going to have to say PSG losing to Dortmund. Bearing in mind, uh, Madrid were playing City, and they are not everybody's favourites, but they're the bookies favourites mm. at the moment. So, I'm going to say PSG. Sid Lowe's with us as well. Sid? Well, I mean, I know this is a game that probably was the least watched of all of this round of games, but Valencia in, in Milan against Atalanta were absolutely awful. And they're, they're basically out. They basically know they've got no chance. They, they could have conceded even more goals than they did. So that was the worst. Obviously, of the big names, then I, I suppose I'm tempted to go with Stevie. I, th I think, you know, of course, everybody knew that it wouldn't be easy against Atletico Madrid. But given how Liverpool have been playing, I think we all expected them at least to score. How excited is Craig for the Hall of Fame? Of course, Premier League announced yesterday there will be a Hall of Fame. It's right up your street. Yeah, I haven't read the, uh, the I haven't read the minute detail of it. Well, I've pretty much summed it up. There's going to be a Hall of Fame for the Premier League, <laughs> <laughs> an American-style Hall of Fame, which which means nothing to me because I don't know. Uh, I and I've seen people chipping out who have no interest. No, no. If they invited you to go, it's like the it's like the it's like the, the fifth. The, what do you call that Scottish thing? Playing for Hall Scotland. Scotland, Scotland Hall, Hall of Fame for yeah. having 50 caps. <laughs> what was the, was the name of the Hall yeah. of Fame in Scotland? Yeah, the Hall and of I, Fame. I dumped, I, I finished with 46 because I, I, I retired and it's like, who cares? No. You get 15 years. Have you seen some of the dobbles that are in it? No. <laughs> Good grief, they're giving caps out like confetti. <laughs> so, no, I'm not, I don't bother with this. Is there a things. Spanish Hall of Fame, Sid? Uh, no, but La Liga, who over the last two or three years have tried really, really hard to build on some of these things that the English League do, um, will, I think, do one fairly soon. You know, there's now a Player of the Year award that there wasn't officially until about five or six years ago. They're starting to push this kind of thing a lot, so I think there will be soon. I heard the uh, Premier League are going to do the opposite. What They're going to tag on to the Spanish emergency signing thing. Ah, well, yeah. that leads us on to the next question, actually. Oh, I'm a fan of Craig and Barcelona. This person seems torn now. Since the Braithwaite signing, I feel we started to hate Barca and I'm heartbroken. Oh, breaking hearts everywhere, Craig. Barca. It actually wasn't Barcelona's fault. It was the Spanish league. Mm. Correct. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. You don't hate anyone. Don't hold grudges. <laughs> I just was a bit frustrated. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> what are all grudges? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't hate Barca, no. I don't hate him. But so, I was frustrated. I was more, uh, I was more uh, upset for Leganes. Exactly. Big Leganes fan. And now though. they can't go. Oh, that's a different part. You, love, you love an underdog, don't you? Yeah. It's, it's he loves an me. underdog. James Rodriguez's situation is very strange, Sid. Why isn't Zidane playing him? Because every time he's played this season, he's done great. Yeah, I, I think I probably wouldn't quite go so far as to say that he's been really great every time he's played, but I, I find it slightly baffling because one of the things about James Rodriguez is his delivery is so good that even if he has a game where he doesn't play well, you know he will provide at least one, maybe two clear chances in that match. And, and so it's surprising, particularly in the context of Zidane doing quite a lot of rotations. If you're going to do a lot of rotations, it seems odd not to use him more. Final question, is there a Scottish equivalent to Shaka's Carnival? Well, we've got the Highland Games. Right. So if you like tossing the caver. What is tossing the caver for people who don't know? Stevie? It's a rather large... It's basically a, te it's basically a telephone pole. Right. Right? Yep. And what you've got to do is try and flip it the other end up. OK. But the straight... If you can get it to go straight over, you get more points. Straight over what? But without if you touching flip the it, ground... If you flip it straight... I don't know. So you, what you try to do is flip it straight, right? OK. If it goes side to side, you lose points. Right. Have you, have you ever tried it? I, yeah, right. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's big gentlemen. Yeah. Or ladies. Well, right. I, I, no. It's a Highland thing. Right, OK. What about the Edinburgh tattoo? Would that count? 
Edinburgh. Oh, the Edinburgh Festival is... Yeah, that's well, a comedy that's, festival. It's a comedy it? festival. Yeah. So you also have the tattoo, don't you? It's not quite carnival, though, is it? Just, uh, I'm just giving you options. What, what's I'm the not shooting one thing what, or another. What's the tattoo, for people who don't know? Uh, it's at Edinburgh Castle, mm -hmm. and it's basically, it's, it's probably, it's just music. Right. As much as anything else. Sid, did I see your son dress up for, like, your village carnival? Yeah. Yeah, they went different different things each day. So one day it was, uh, they had to go in brightly coloured clothes. The next day it was in pyjamas, and the next day it was in medieval gear. So it was, a, you know, it was a knight with a, with a shield and all that sort of stuff. You know, when we're losing it, uh... You know, in the Highland Games, this is how bad it's got. In Scotland were not qualifying for major tournaments as they are now, and the rugby team was getting beat, and I said, at least we've still got tossing the caber. Yep. To which point, somebody tweeted me and said, well, yeah, but that was won by an Englishman last year. Oh, it's all going wrong. So, or somebody, we can't even win, we can't even win you, we're tossing the caber now. What did you call the one where they get the, it's like the big, you know the big kettle weights? Yeah. And they chuck them over the, over the crossbar. What would they actually what, call that? Right. In, Cor in Cornwall, we had welly wanging, where you had to get the welly and chuck it over the thing. See, that's just stupid. <laughs> that's, well, that's, that's because in Cornwall, you've got nothing better to do. <laughs> that's about 16 is that gallons of cider. Uh, yeah. Well, let's get some breeze. Wellington <laughs> boots. Who, who, can... who can throw the wellies the furthest? <laughs> welly wanging. I promise you, it's a thing. Thank you very much. Thanks to Sid as well. we got a brilliant weekend, haven't we? Uh, football to keep us entertained. We will be with you every day, especially on Sunday. Real special show right across the ESPN Plus for 73 hours. Be sure to check that out. Uh, until next time, goodbye. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.